today we are going to be painting a beautiful custom Mario with just some easy quick steps. There is also a written guide with way more information in it if you have any problems, and I'll have a link to it in the description. Step 0. Decomp being installed is required, and if you have not done that, refer to Rover's tutorial about installing Decomp. Link in description. You're also going to want to have Fast64 installed and turn on an add-on. If you don't have that, there will also be a link in the description. You should see this when the file loads. To make sure Mario has colors, turn on textures view by clicking the top right button. Then if he doesn't look right, click on scene world. Step 1. Uncrumpling Mario. Click on the bones, click control tab to go into pose mode or click on the top left corner and go into pose mode from there. Click the top four bones for the hips and shoulders. Rotate them 180 degrees on the y-axis. Next, you're going to want to rotate the shoulders pointing up 90 degrees in the opposite directions on the z-axis. For the feet, you're going to want to rotate them 69.5 degrees nice, on the y-axis. If Fast64 menu isn't open, hit the N key to open it. In the menu, in the SM64 tab, click Apply as Rest Pose. Step 2. Importing your character. Import your character if you are going to import a character to place over Mario. First, make sure all the pieces of the character is joined together by using Control J. One thing you also want to do before you join the model with Mario's is you want to merge all the vertices together. Your model must use Fast 3D materials to be exported to Mario 64. So in the Fast 64 tab, click Principled BSDF to F3D Converter so that the materials are the same. Scale your model to the appropriate size. For aligning Mario, you want to line up the feet. That is the most important part to have the feet of the character match with Mario's. And then, try to line up the pose. If Mario's pose does not fit with yours, then move Mario's bones in pose mode to where your character's joints are. It will move Mario parts, but that's fine. Now, join Mario and your model together. To put them together, click on your model and then click on Mario and click Ctrl J. It is important that you click on Mario last to join your models together. Weighing or grouping is how you tell the bones which part of the model they correspond to. Take Mario's torso for example. Select all the vertices on Mario's torso and click Ctrl L. Now click on one vertice on the actual Mario's torso. Then go over to the items tab and click copy. This will copy all your weight data and group data over to your character's torso. Now your character's torso will be tied to Mario's animations. Any given vertex cannot be weighed to more than one bone. Every vertex must be weighed to a bone. And also, be aware that you can only be tied to one bone. And if you're skinning, Make sure vertices only correspond to the bone that is connected to. Like the foot cannot connect to the torso, or else it will it will give out an error. Once done with skinning, go up to select and edit mode and go to select all by trait, then ungroup vert. This will show you which vertices you still need to connect to Mario, as you can see from mine and how many I'm missing. One thing to worry about is the textures of the characters because usually you don't want them to go over 32 by 32 size unless in special cases. You'll see in the tab theme usage 
and if it goes over the byte size, it won't work. I usually use RGBA 16-bit with 32 by 32 size for convenience because it always usually works. The models above the Mario head represent his other actions like taking off his hat and his swimming hands. If you don't want him to take off his mask like he's a Scooby-Doo villain, make sure to change those. For example, I'll change the hat off of Mario. Click on the head of Mario and click Select Similar, then Vertex Group. Click Shift-D to duplicate the head and move it up over to the Mario's non-hat model. Press P to separate part and select by selection. Now join the heads together and change the vertex weight to the no cap and delete the Mario head. When Mario takes off his hat, it will be that model. I like to save a copy in case the exporting fails at this point, so if you crumple him wrong or if it doesn't export, you can just load the save and not have to re-uncrumple him. It's time for exporting! Return the model to its original crumpled up position. Go into object mode, select the armature, and go into pose mode. Rotate the feet negative 69.5 on Y axis. Rotate the top shoulders 90 degrees. Rotate the bottom hips and shoulders 180 degrees on Y axis. If you move bones, to fit your character, you don't need to undo that movement, only the original rotations you did at the beginning. Apply the rest pose again. For exporting, you want to go over to SM64 file settings, and on the decomp folder, you want to select your, the location of your decomp. Mine is Z slash home slash lowkey slash tutorial. Then you just click Export Armature. And if it says Success, congratulations, it is now in the game. Time to try it out in the game. Wow, would you look at that? My character is in the game. Now you can too.